In this talk I'll present TapType, an ultra-mobile text entry method that allows full range and 10 finger typing much like on regular keyboards. The key enabler of a method is a Bayesian deep learning component for ballistic signal processing and language modeling. This work I did together with my lab mates and my advisor Christian Holtz at ETH Zurich. Here is Tiffany wearing TapTap wristbands. She simply enters text by typing the surface around the phone, using the same keys and fingers she would on a regular keyboard. TapType is also useful in virtual mixed reality. It doesn't require any cameras, so the user can look anywhere in the scene while conveniently typing on the surface. Tap typing doesn't need visual control, and it also works without visual feedback. Here is Shashi replying to a text with his phone in his pocket. Um, um, it. Just as a preview, this is footage from our online evaluation of tap type. Participants typed up to 28 words per minute without any instructions on touch intensity. If we look at the common ways we enter text today, then we find that popular solutions cover the ends of two dimensions, available input space and portability. Physical keyboards remain the most popular choice when it comes to entering large amounts of text. When you type on a keyboard, you can use both hands and all 10 fingers. And users can support and rest their arms on the table surface, which helps with prolonged typing. On the other end of the spectrum are the mobile phones. They are small, really portable and we can type wherever we are, typically in short sessions. But this portability comes at a price. Typing is not really convenient any longer and much less accurate. TapType combines the benefits of both approaches. Users can type anywhere on passive surfaces using the full range in all 10 fingers, while our wristbands make TapType highly portable. Users get the same passive haptic feedback they are used to on touch devices, but they can also support and rest the arms on the surface, which allows for longer typing sessions. Tap type system consists of three main components. The first is a variable sensor design that detects typing events from soft surface taps. The second is a novel probabilistic language decoder. It consists of a Bayesian neural network and a language model. Our decoder estimates the text the user intends to enter. Depending on the use case, the third component of our system provides the user with feedback about the predictions. When users type on a surface, each event causes micro vibrations that mechanically couple and propagate through the hand. TapTap registers these sensations with a dual IMU sensor that is embedded in the wristband. We upgraded the device based on our previous approach TapID, which we presented at IEEE VR last year. TapID's purpose was to detect touch events for interaction in virtual reality by identifying the finger. To get from fingers to characters for TapType, we built in touch typing, where each finger corresponds to a set of keys. We then predict words using a language model. It might seem as if we're done now, but unfortunately this isn't the case. TapID's accuracy was around 90%. Typing a word with just 5 characters would therefore result in only 59% chance of success, which is far below practical requirements. Thus, the key to making TapTap work was to interpret all improvements probabilistically, from the moment we recognize them until the end when we predict characters and words. All text entry methods infer the intended text from the user's input. For tap type, the input is represented by accelerometer signals. Our goal is to infer the most likely character sequence from the signal windows around typing events. We describe this problem through a hidden Markov model. We simplify the mathematical expression using the resulting conditional independencies as well as specifics of our typing technique. We arrive at a final expression that consists of a product of two factors for each tap event. The first factor is the likelihood for a given character given the text entered so far, estimated for an Engram language model. The second factor is the probability that a certain finger has caused to observe window of inertial signals. We estimate this distribution using a finger classification network. As I mentioned before, our Bayesian classifier is TapTap's key component. The reason is that standard neural networks tend to be overconfident in their predictions, and the probability estimates are not representative of the true correctness likelihood. Bayesian neural networks and contrast tend to provide better output distributions. They learn a distribution over the weights using Bayesian inference, from which we derive a marginal distribution over the output. This makes them suitable for TapTap's probabilistic approach. 
because any neural network layer could be probabilistic, we evaluated four different architectures. A deterministic low base baseline, an all base variant, one base where only the output layer is probabilistic, and two base with probabilistic first and last layer. We trained all networks using variation and inference. For the negative log likelihood loss, we added an opposite loss to reject out of distribution events such as inadvertent activations. We assembled a data capture rig that allowed us to record accelerometer signals for text sent events, synchronized with finger tap events that we captured using a touch sensor. An OptiTrack tracking system allowed us to annotate finger identities in precise locations. We evaluated tap type in two ways. First, we evaluated our classifier offline. We found that tap tap spatial classifier only marginally improved detection accuracy. But as expected, it is significantly better calibrated than the no base baseline, which becomes apparent through the lower negative log likelihood and expected calibration error. We also ran a simulated text entry study to determine the model that allowed tap type to retrieve the intended text. Here, the two base model with fine tuning achieved the best performance, while also requiring a shorter inference time than the all base model. We therefore chose two base for tap types operation during runtime. Second, we evaluated tap types operation in an interactive setting, online and end to end. We recruited 10 participants who use tap type on the table surface. After training on a few sentences, participants transcribed three blocks of 10 phrases from the McKenzie and Socorro's dataset. On average, they entered text with an entry rate of 19 words per minute in the third block. TapType also supports out of vocabulary text input, which requires character by character entry. For phrases from the Twitter out of vocabulary dataset, the average speed was 9 words per minute. With a participant agnostic model, meaning without fine tuning, participants still enter text with more than 15 words per minute, while the character error rate remained close to zero. In conclusion, I presented our variable text entry method TapType which enables full 10-finger typing by appropriating passive surfaces. Because TapType -tap uses type as they would on regular keyboards, they can transfer the existing muscle memory and type away without much training. TapTap -tap is ultra-portable, but users can still leverage their full dexterity while entering large amounts of text. And it is the probabilistic treatment of tap events and language modeling that is the key enabler of our method to enable typing anywhere.